Togo, Uruak Pochagne was suspended by ANC. How did we get to this point of no return? About a week ago, information about Mr. Chagneo Uro Akpo's suspension from the political formation he belonged had been circulating on social media. This is the Orange Formation, the National Alliance for Change, ANC. Uro Akpo was their second Deputy General Secretary in the Executive Office. He also had the opportunity, in the recent past, to represent this political opposition party in the Togolese Parliament, and it is quite normal for any observer of the Togolese political scene who is not necessarily in the secret of the gods, to wonder, after such surprising news, why and how, it is then obvious that each and every one goes from their little comments and speculations, that's why, in order to find out more and to be able to, with our humble contribution, shed light on all those who are still in the interrogation stage, we have taken it upon ourselves to conduct our small survey, things had really started to break down between the boiling Chagneo Uro Akpo and Jean-Pierre Fabre, See the ANC's first officials, in the aftermath of the famous February 2020 presidential elections, so it was after the elections that Honoro Akpo and some of his party friends, hailing from Cheojo and Asoli prefectures, outraged by the holding of the polls and the incompatible behaviour of some ANC officials in the aforementioned prefectures during the electoral operations, decided to go see the national president of the Orange Formation, Mr Jean-Pierre Fabre to share their indignation and to make proposals to improve the functioning of the party in the future this was on the 18th of June 2020. On that day, Uru Akpo and his party fellows didn't mince their word to their president, they said the causes of their party's failure in the elections were malfunctioning of certain ANC structures and misbehaviour of some, they would tell Jean-Pierre Fabre to stop, for example, accusing the old prelate Fenoco Philip Podsro of being responsible for their misdeeds. He would not be there for nothing and that the problems were internal to the party and that one had to have the courage to learn from them failure. The paradigm shift to reorganize the party was one of the main proposals made during the interview, and names of personalities who, in the eyes of Uruakpo and his cohorts, no longer have a good image among the population were mentioned. The president of the ANC, Mr. Jean-Pierre Fabre, considered that talking about these personalities whose image is already corrupted in the eyes of the population, would be like talking about himself. That's why, not only did he report all the contents of the discussions to the personalities involved in the accusations of Uruakpo and his friends, but the former deputy had begun to be considered as a persona non grata and is now stamped in frequent by the personalities in question and by Jean-Pierre Fabre himself. After this interview with the president of the Orange Party, Chagneo Uruakpo returns to the charge and publishes a document on the ANC's strategy to reclaim the electorate, a document handed over to his hierarchical leader, that is to Mr. Jean. Pierre Fabre, Hon Uro Akpo proposes a functional and operational restructuring of the party. Here too, instead of looking to study the proposal and possibly exploit it, the document had only further widened the gap between some of the party's first officials, including Jean-Pierre Fabre, and himself. Irrespective of the fact that Mr. Jean-Pierre Fabre didn't play the game of considering the initiators of the small revolution to make things better, as mere uninspired slaps, there was another aspect that may end up screwing things up for good. This is the fact that what was normally meant for the ANC political party's internal cooking has ended up in the public square. Indeed, out of recklessness, Hon Uro Akpo confides himself to one of his fellow German diaspora by sending him audio messages talking about his accusations, proposals or his brief relationship with ANC political party leaders. Chagneo Uro Akpo's private confidences about his political training that are enchantmently found on Jean-Pierre Fabre's table, the messages were edited as videos and posted on the party's platforms. The drop of water that made the vase overflow, Jean-Pierre had not long ago accused his second deputy secretary-general of publishing or having published articles in a private newspaper in the square in Lomé, whose director of publication is said to be a staunch hater of the ANC. The same reproach was made to him by the same Jean-Pierre Fabre and the political committee of the party for publishing in the online newspaper belonging to the Togolese resident in Germany which is none other than the one with whom the row. Akpo Chagneo had exchanged about his political party, also tagged by the officials of the Orange Formation as their fierce opponent. We would like to recall that this information, regarding the turpities between the ANC party and its possibly ex-second deputy general secretary, is contained in the famous audio message sent by the interested person to the alleged enemy of the party established in Germany. We did nothing but exploit it for Chagneo Uro Akpo, history seems to repeat itself, and it's safe to say that he has finally become a regular suspension. Who doesn't remember that in 2010 at the UFC, he was one of the nine, nine, deputies to be suspended by a certain Gilchrist Olympio following a misunderstanding. Even today it is Jean-Pierre Fabre, a former companion of the one who now belongs to the trash bin of Togolese history because of his unworthy behaviour, that gets him suspended.
Will we ever know the real reasons that led to the suspension of Uruak Pochagneo, who according to some observers, would have done much for the establishment of the National Alliance for Change, ANC, in the central region, according to our intersections, the former deputy seems to have taken his liberty in recent times by publishing stunts on the political and economic situation in our country in private newspapers, according to our investigations, the ANC national chairman would complain and seem to be taking shade of it, like how can't be two captains in a boat, Uruak Pochagneo will have learned it at his expense and the fact that the person concerned uses as a pretext a professional impediment not to respond to a call of the political committee of the ANC on 15 February, 2023 at the party headquarters, to be preached, even humiliated and apologize, had ended up consuming the final divorce, the geographical origin of Chagneo Uro Akpo, where you do not joke with the right and dignity in everything and especially in politics, would it not play a role in his behavior that could be misunderstood in a setting like the Togolese political world, especially the opposition side? which is widely synonymous with selfishness, may or nothing formula, all kinds of blows, self, interest and treason, economist in training, Uruak Pochagneo is far from a mediocre politician, will he ever bounce back somewhere one way or another to fly his own wings, or will he eventually sort himself out with his ANC political formation that owes him a lot, wait and see, Chijobo Youth Germany.